I'm not sure if it's because Cobra Kai season six is out. Yes, sensei, or what? But my wife and I have been on a big 80s new wave synthwave kick lately. So I thought it would be fun to make something 80s inspired using my quad cortex presets as they are. Obviously, I could have made a new preset specifically for this, and maybe I will down the line, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. But for today at least, I wanted to see if we could get those 80s new wave tones from the current presets I have. So let's begin. The first thing I'm gonna do is record in some vibey, chorusy, 80 sounding chords. I dial that tone in using the JM pedal board preset, and believe it or not, I'm gonna use the Stratocaster. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and get like a basic drum outline in there just so I have something to play to that's not just a click. I'll probably end up fine tuning these sounds later. The next thing I'm gonna do is add in some rhythm guitar now that we have this big drum section. I've added in my first stage overdrive but otherwise the tone is exactly the same. the Les Paul and my JM pop punk preset for some lead guitar action. I ended up having to take a couple day break because I needed to bounce out to help one of my best friends propose. And then I had three all day rehearsals in a row and today is my one day off before I leave for tour. So I'm not quite sure I'm gonna be able to get this done but I'm sure gonna try. I do have one new idea for the rhythm guitar part. So I think I'm gonna track that and end up using that instead of the original rhythm part I have. I've also gone through and sort of done a basic outline form. I'm doing the usual arrangement I do for typical YouTube Demos got some sort of intro, a verse, a pre-chorus, and then we'll do sort of like a instrumental solo or maybe even just a big chorus section at the end. Now I'm thinking about putting in some kind of pretty clean diamond guitars for the verse and I'll probably carry that through the pre-chorus and I'll just kind of add different layers as it goes on to keep it interesting. I think the vibe's starting to get there. I just wanna add a kind of sparkly lead top line over that pre-chorus section, and I'm gonna use the JM Summer Vibes preset or the indie rock one. needs a little more movement, so I'm gonna add a funky guitar part over the top. I'm gonna basically use the same sound. I'm just gonna take the long reverb off and go to the short reverb in this preset and take the delay off as well. It wouldn't be the 80s without a guitar solo, right? Let's go, Tatum. I threw in one more guitar part on the verse just to give us a little something extra. I don't even know if it's gonna make the final cut of this recording, but maybe I'll add synths and stuff and then take it out. I don't know. Yep, I didn't finish before I went on tour. 
And uh, I, I'm out here on the road right now and I ended up putting in the bass via MIDI and did some keyboard stuff via MIDI, but I don't even have a keyboard here. So I'm literally just drawing in the notes with the trackpad on my laptop. I think it sounds decent considering, you know, but uh, if it sucks, I'm sorry. I just finished mixing it with my in-ear monitors because that's all I have here. So I gotta make do with the equipment that I got. So bear with me if this isn't the best overall mix, but I do think the song is pretty cool and I'm pretty stoked with how the guitars came out. So check it out. <laughs> If you like the sounds you heard today, I've got links to the presets and bundle editions in the description down below. And since this video is gonna post right around my birthday weekend, I thought I'd do a flash sale on all my presets. So from this Friday, September 13th, 2024, in case you're watching this five years in the future or even five days in the future, through September 15th, 2024, there's gonna be a flash sale going on, so be sure to check that out. And if you enjoyed the video today, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you next time. And even though I'm wearing a Miyagi-Do shirt right now, I wanna make it clear that I am Team Johnny Lawrence. And she is too.